Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome to... M <laughs> I'm sorry, I just read Kelly's comment. No, Kelsey, as a matter of fact, is very tired today. Uncle Matt and Aunt Mona got her very, very busy last night or yesterday, and she is still wore out from it. <laughs> Poor kitty. Um, anyway, um, so let me... Say hello first to everybody in the chat. I see my moderators are here. I see Moose and Linda and Shannon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies. I couldn't do this without you. You're awesome. Now, let me look at all my viewers of awesomeness. Let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, I'm in top chat. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, I see Tamara. Uh, let me see... Uh, I see Mary. Mary, it is so nice to see you here. I only see Mary on, uh, usually see Mary on Sundays on Fiona's channel where I moderate. But, and now Mary's over here checking us out. Thank you, Mary. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I got, okay. Uh, let me see. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Okay. I see Kelly. And I see Melinda, lucky, lucky Melinda, who won something. Oh, there, there it is. Has Doris been hogtied by her kitten and can't get to the camera? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. And hello, Cynthia. Cynthia, it's pouring rainbows. It probably is in California. Hello, Roxanne. Hello, Lorraine, sweetie. Ah, oh, let's see. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. <laughs> Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep that resin flow flowing. Rawhide. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't help it. I saw Linda type that and it just made me want to sing the song. Oh, thank you, Roxanne, for the thumbs up. And I realize going on Saturdays, um, it's kind of hard um, for, for some people to get here. Um, because you know it's out, you know it's outdoor stuff. Um, well, no, not really outdoor stuff right now because it's winter. But everybody's usually really busy on Saturdays. Okay, putting my gloves on. As you can see, I got some of the pieces out here, and um, I'm not demolding the coasters, the the big coasters, because they need another little layer. Of um, yeah. I got baby powder on. I'm still struggling with my gloves. Thank you, Moose. Okay, okay, got my gloves on. Okay, let me start with the oldest pieces first. Um, I got some markers, and I'm not happy. I'm not happy with it. Okay. Um. Well, hello. Hello, Mr. Mac, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Hang on, where is my button? There it is. Yes, greetings, Mac. Thank you. I would be over at yours, but I'm streaming right now, so I can't. Um, and hello, Lupe. Okay, so this is what one of them turned out with the markers. I got some different pens coming from um, um, Timu, okay? And the ones I'm showing you that have a paper on the back are the giveaways, okay? And here's another one. Uh, I just can't get that, 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 that beard to, uh, to do, you know, to show up the way I wanted it to, so, okay, and... I'm going to give this guy away, too. Remember Mr. Messy Face from last week? Aw, uh, thank you so much, Trey. And love to you and Nicole and Freya and Loki. And hail to everybody in your chat over there. <laughs> I could, this is the only way I can do a Vulcan salute. And then here's another one that I tried with markers that didn't turn out right. 
and then you remember him. Okay, um, three of these are giveaways today. The three best ones, I think, in my in my opinion. Oops. Ah. Okay, what did I just do with my... Um, okay, you got to give me a second. I messed up my numbers. I messed up my numbers on the back because I had them in order because I got three giveaways, which meant three numbers. Okay, you're the middle one. Um, so, um, yeah, and I promise you... Now that our snow's melted down to a manageable five, six inches on the ground, <laughs> um, I promise everybody I owe giveaways to, I'm going to do box them and do labels this week up at the library. Okay, where is this one going to go? Because I got them written down in a certain order too, okay, and then that means that one's, that one goes there. Uh... Okay, I'm just trying to get these off of here so I don't get resin all over them. Okay, um, the coasters turned out pretty good, except it's it's still need, it, it's not all the way up to the edge, and I need to cover up some of the unevenness from the UV resin because I didn't even get the white covered right here. So when I mix some resin, these are going to get topped off. Okay. But let's unmold these little guys. Well, yeah, I had not, not quite two feet. I was three inches shy of two feet. But it's been melting off, which makes for a mud puddle right next to where I park at. Okay, let's unmold these and see how they look. And see, you can't hardly see the detail. Um, but I've got, I've got some more, uh, markers coming from Timu of all places. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Susan. Okay, let's demold this guy. And he turned out pretty cool. Wait a minute. You know what? He might look better on a white background. Let me put a white under him. There we go. I see you can't see the details. Like I said, I've got uh, I got some white markers and some black markers. Extra super fine points is what I'm is what I'm doing. Okay, now uh, this one's going to need to be. He ran over a little bit, so I'm going to have to. I know where my Dremel's at. I just got to get it out. But you could, but that's not going to be hard to get rid of right there on the wait a minute, on the edge. You can see it right there. Oops, I'm getting a blowout. Oh, hello, Pam. Nice to see you. And you're saying hello to Sue. Uh, oh, you're saying hello to Susan. Okay. Okay, now let's see how... This one I did backwards. I put the dark blue at the top and the light blue at the bottom. But this is the girl gnome with the pigtails. I cannot figure out a good way to do, to do these cameras yet. I see everybody's still saying hello to everybody. That's We are such a friendly bunch. If you are new to the chat, stop in, just say hi, and you will get a very, very warm welcome. Okay, let me demold this guy. He's got a long beard. See, it's hard for me to get him close enough. So I'm hoping that those new pens will do better than the old pens did. Okay, and then there's this one, but you can... Wait a minute. I, I can't I can't get the glare off of it. Okay, that's those. Now this turned out pretty. 
<laughs> for resonant, my old place, it, it was perfect because of the distance. Now this, okay, this is a coaster. And I'm probably going to do some white in between the waves. Yeah, see, it's, where's that, where's that white cloth? It's just an old t-shirt, but. Yeah. I'm getting a blowout from these guys, too. Okay, put you there. Now comes the one that I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to see. My dolphin. Let me, I think when the camera's angled a little bit more forward, ah, okay, uh, come on, off the baby dolphin. Now this one's got detailing too, and uh, I'm waiting for, I'm, I'm not going to even try it till I get the new markers. Oh, bye Susan, thank you for stopping in. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got it off. Got it off. Now, I'll show you right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, there is a scene in there. Okay. I got a couple little pieces I can see I'm going to have to fix. Okay, so. Ooh. Ooh. I am happy, happy, happy with this one. Now see, he's got sand down here where the waves are, but I was thinking I could do some white in there. And then I might do some white in this uh, on this other stuff. Uh, let me see if I turn it. There we go. There we go. Now you can see it. You get a glare, but you can see the details. So he turned out purdy, purdy. This is one, um, I'm going to be doing um, two animal molds as soon as I mix resin in and, and fix these guys, okay? Oops, let me leave that right there. Let me put this right here and this right here. Okay, uh, part B. I am figuring, I'm going to figure on six ounces because I'm going to put an ounce in these in each of these two little cups and hopefully have enough left to to fill these two molds over here so I'm putting in three ounces of part B I figured it was warm enough I didn't need the heat in that today okay and the cat's around here somewhere. Kelsey, I'm going to start putting, I am going to start putting some little shorts up of some antics that my cat has been doing. Some people have seen it in Messenger and I've sent it to their phone, but y'all just got to see what this cat does sometimes. No, no, no. I actually clipped her nails the other day. She was not happy, but she'll get over it. Okay, that's three ounces. Now I'm going to do six or three more to bring it up to six. Come on, just a little bit more. There we go. Well, it's warmer than it has been. I mean, my thermostat is still set at... um at um um 65 looking for my time there it is well i'll go by that clock that clock's easier to see yeah i'm, I'm gonna put up a couple of shorts of her i got a short of her with playing with her game on my phone yes my cat has a game has an app on my phone it's called cat fishing and she is so funny with it um, last night, Matt was, um, on the floor with, uh, 
one half of my kitchen cabinet. And he was, he kept measuring. You know how, how you should measure, measure, measure uh, before you cut? Well, that's what he was doing. And he had a metal tape measure out. <laughs> and she kept playing with it. And she just, but she, but she ran every time the saw came on. Oh, no. And what was it, Kelly? I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting now. I got to mix this for three minutes, so. Okay, hurry back, Moose. See, I don't need to look at what I'm doing with the mixing. Well, what was it, Kelly? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, cats can be so funny. Wait till I do, wait till I do uh, clean her litter box and you see how, how she, she, she stands up when I take the top off. Oh, hello, Vic, and hello, Miss Aggie. Hugs to you, Miss Aggie, and hugs to you, Vic. Um, but anyway, um, I, I go to scoop up a scoop of the litter and shake it and she stands up after on the edge after I've taken off the top and she reaches in and she bats it. <laughs> I wish we had a camera going when she had, uh, dipped her paw, one paw in a, bu it was a bucket of water. Mona was cleaning the uh, stairs last night because she they're they're filthy. I mean, there's so much remodeling that has to be done on this house. It's not even funny. And um, uh, Kelsey stood up there. She looked at the water. She sniffed it. Then she stuck one paw in, pulled it out, and looked at it. And then she stuck. Then she turned around, and stuck the other paw in. It's like, what are you doing, cat? I wish we had a camera going when that happened. Okay, almost three minutes. So after at the near the end of the live, I will do a giveaway. Uh, and in the United States, I can ship because those are little light things. Okay. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is <laughs> okay. What is wrong here? Something just doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel level. This one is. Huh. Okay. Uh, came out too fast. Maybe I didn't need a whole six ounces. Okay. Arnie, hello. Nice to see you. And uh, welcome back, Moose. Okay, I'm just filling these so they go up to the top. Maybe I didn't quite need six ounces. Now that cat has just been, oh, she's been a joy to watch her play. And she's just, she's done all kinds of weird stuff. So I got some shorts of her that I, that I, uh, well, I took videos and they're short enough that I'm, um, I might have to trip a couple seconds off, but I should be able to put them up as shorts. The antics of Kelsey the Fearless. go let's see <laughs> Linda she doesn't know although there is a movie on one of the streaming channels and it's about the brothers okay and the title of the movie is just one word Kelsey <laughs> yes it is yes it is I got this from um 
Eco Solutions, I think it was. This way I can wipe it off with alcohol and not have to worry about throwing sticks away. Okay. Looks like I got that all the way up to the top. Now, let me get my heat gun. Well, Mona's heat gun. I still haven't found mine. I gave up. I ordered one. I'm get rid of my little air bubbles. Yep, see, I mixed way too much resin, so I'm going to end up pouring some of it off as, in a coaster. So, I'm going to show you my method. Uh, got a piece of fuzz in there. My method, I don't know if you can, well, no, you can't. Oh. Okay, Ernie, tell, tell your cat we said hello. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, what is right there? Okay, can you see the scene? Okay, no. Wait, I gotta hold it sideways. You'll see it better once I start filling it in with black. Because what I do is, because she does not, yep, I'm doing a moose, <laughs> because they, they hold her comments because they don't know it's just a cat. I don't think, nope, I have to cut this one. Where'd my scissors go? Okay, Kelsey, where'd you put my scissors? Oh, there they are. Very carefully. Ah. Okay, let me put a little bit of resin. This is like a one ounce cup that you can get. Um, they, you can buy them separately, but they usually include them in the little resin kits. That you buy off of Timu and Amazon or whatnot. Oh, hello, Miss Shelley. <laughs> she vanished somewhere. I know exactly where my cat's at because I can hear her playing with her favorite, with one of her favorite toys, which is a piece of metal with a uh, a big washer on the bottom of it, and it's down below the the table in the kitchen. Okay. Eh, almost spilled it. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is resin with black in there. You don't have to use a pigment like I'm using. You can use, I used, I've used casting craft before. Um, I did a bear one night where I was, a no, I did a mousse where I did a, a, a mica pigment in there. Okay, now. There's a lot of fine detail on this, so you're going to find out that you're going to have to do a lot of cleaning around it. But this has to set up overnight anyway. I was trying to read the chat. I shouldn't do that because I almost spilled my resin again. Okay. Okay. So basically, I'm just putting the colored resin into the little crevices that make up the um, that make up the um, design and the edge. And you will see when I get get some of it filled in how I use another stick to basically clean up as best I can the um uh, what's what where it's at 
um, the, the negative space, I guess you could say. Okay, there we go. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. Now, at least Kelsey's not climbing up my leg, right? She's being a good girl. Or as good as a kitten can be. Okay, now I'm going to put this over here because I like using short pieces of a stick. So what I do is, is I take a stick like this. And I break it as best I can with my hand. Okay, now you can use the end of it or you can use the side of it. Q-tips, uh, no. No, I, I, I tried Q-tips. And you see what I'm doing? I'm scraping the excess into, into the, the, the crevices that make up the design. But it's uh, also getting rid of it on the, Negative space, the, I guess you could call it the background. Okay, don't worry about getting everything up because next week, I'm going to, when they're dry, I'm going to show you before I put the next layer in, I'm going to show you <laughs> well, Linda. I've done it both ways because I did take your advice and tried it the way you were talking about. And let me just put the stick right there. I like doing it this way better. It's just too tedious to me. I'm trying to do it the, the other way. Okay, turn a little bit so I can get it at a better angle and I may have to mix it more yeah I would um, I would be worried about the fuzzies too that that's exactly what I'm doing I'm doing a squeegee I just get as much as I can filled in it doesn't matter if it goes over the edge because it will be squeegeed off into the edge because there's a whole exp expanse right here where it's going to go. Now, you know, on his belly and in his legs. So, it'll just fill in there. Yeah, I can see it now. I'm going to need to mix more resin. Okay. Put that right there. And... Uh, well, I learned a long time ago, Linda, you've got to be patient with resin, okay? Oh, I, did I miss a hole? Yep, I missed his whole neck. There we go. There we go. Get rid of the excess. Where it's going to get filled in with more anyway. Well, I, tr I tried it, Linda, and... I... Uh, this is better for me. That's why I'm showing this way. 
I did it before with a, uh, with, I can't remember if it was a makeup brush or, or a little paint brush, but I brushed in some, uh, micas. Yeah, I need to mix more. I don't have enough. Okay. Just add a little bit more resin. Oops. A little bit too much, I think. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. Okay, and there is my black. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I, I, I'm used to doing cleanup too, okay? I started this channel on resin, okay? And I'm so glad I got a very understanding landlord now. <laughs> That lets me do resin. She doesn't think it's toxic or hazardous. Okay. There we go. Okay. I hear you, Kelsey. I don't know if anybody else can hear her. She's underneath an old... Uh, table that's supposed to have a leaf they couldn't find the leaf but I'm still keeping the table and there's a metal thing under there that you're supposed to pull to pull it apart okay let me put this over here and squeegee oh Oh, well, you know what? I completely understand your remodeling, Shelly, because that's exactly what we're doing here to this house. And it's coming along. But it's not exactly, you know, quick work. Okay, now I see what, what where the bottom is. There we go. See, when this sets up, before I put in the, the next layer next week, um, um, I will um, use some tape, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I use tape. To pick up all these little bits that are going to stay there and dry. Okay. Now I'm getting into a big enough area. I think I can pour it a little bit. And then spread it out. Because the whole leg and, and part of the belly is black. go got him filled in see this is why I didn't know if I'd be able to do a beach coaster or not because I got some really cute um <laughs> well they've been work they bought the house in June last year and she's been working on it since but see she bought it as is and she did not know when she got rid of all the junk that was in here how bad it was but now she knows and they're just a plug in away I'm very grateful for what Matt and Mona are doing you know they do have other stuff they got to do too you know they got Bentley Bentley's got a birthday party today that's why he hasn't been been over here for my lies because next Saturday I'm hoping he comes over because I want him to do another Death Star and this time it's going to be a gift for somebody. <laughs> okay. Let me fill in this crack and this leg. Oh, I might need more. I don't know yet. Yep, I'm going to need more. Oh, man. Okay. 
I guess his legs being being as big as they are and they're all black is why it's taking a lot to fill it in. Okay, let me set this down. Yep, it sure does. Look, I am happy as a clam here. There is less than 400 people in this town. And it's so quiet, except for the train. And I will find out next fall how noisy it gets with the grain factory behind me. Okay, uh, I'm looking to see what Kelly had said. I was looking to see what Kelly had said because I see what Linda said back to her, but I don't know what Kelly said. <laughs> well, this is my third little pot. You weren't here last Saturday, uh, Shelly, but I mentioned you. Um, I mentioned you because I had put some sand in one of my coasters and I didn't say it was you, but I said that a friend had got, went down to the beach and got it for me because I couldn't walk on the beach. And yes, I was using the sand you got me, uh, what, almost two years ago now. So I am putting that sand to use. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah. But, <clears throat> Shelly, you remember the bottle, right? See, I've used over half of it now. I had to buy some more because I was afraid I was going to run out. Now it pretty much looks good over here. Now I just got to do the... I've done this moose once before and I know that the antlers are the hardest part to do. Because it's all these little cracks and crevices I got to get it in there. Hey, thank you, thank you. Um, although I don't know where my old wooden chill wipers are, I just put new ones, well, Matt put new ones on for me. Oh, she's playing with the toys her aunt Elisa got her. Elisa got her these little um, foil type, um, it's kind of like crinkling uh, wrapping paper uh, made into little pom-poms. And she was carrying one around last night like a dead mouse. <laughs> but she was a barn cat before she came here. So she was probably a mouser. Yeah, she was hiding him in the back last night. Um, I'm trying to get it out from in between right there. Okay. Oh, well, I'm thankful for the one you got me, honey. Because as much as I love the beach, these feet and legs won't handle the sand any, walking on the sand anymore. Okay, now, there's no, there's only an edge right here or around these antlers right here. This whole antler gets filled in, but right here, it it gets it's like an edge, like like this is right here. So this is all I can do. Hey, thank you, Mary. That's a great idea too. Although a credit card, I think I'd have to uh, cut it up a little bit. Because I need it to be skinny to get in these areas.
And the stick I'm using to fill, you can use it too to push the resin away. Now I've gotten used to the train tack. Oh, thank you, Shannon. I don't know if I put that one up or not. I did one with a bear. And I don't know if I put the video up or not. Um, and then the first moose I did, the video's crap because I was too stubborn to put on my earphones and my voice got picked up by the microphone out of the speakers and the editor of that video was not happy with me. <laughs> right, Moose? <laughs> But we will get around to doing another one. But I wanted to show you guys this. And I think I'll save the bear for um for next week. Um do the do the part in the in the um in the background like this first. Okay. One thing you got to make sure is you got to make sure it goes all the way up to the outside edge. Which is why I'm peeking around these little holes. Okay. Not throwing that, cleaning that out yet. I want to make sure. Now this is the tricky part I found out with these tight spaces. Getting in there to squeegee off the excess okay now I'm looking I'm looking to make sure he's all filled in where he belongs all this all these little bits right here are gonna dry um, all these little bits in the middle are gonna dry Oh, no, Kelly. Sorry that you've been sick, honey. Okay. So now, let me... What is this? This is... That's the black. Okay, I'm not going to do the other one on this video. Because, I mean, it is kind of boring watching me do that. I just want to move him off to the side. Because I'm going to do... With this leftover resin, uh, first I'm going to clean my gloves with some alcohol. Save your old t-shirts. Cut them up like rags. And put alcohol on them and they clean the resin right off your gloves, right before it sets up, you know. And where's the hole? You just put some alcohol on it, and then, see, it comes right off, and it even comes off of the mat if you don't want it there. Okay, now I'm saving this stick because there's still a lot of good stick on there that I can break apart. And always use these little sticks to mix the resin in a little cup because you don't want to pick up a whole bunch of resin at once out of the cup. Oh, hello, Mike. Nice to see you, honey. Okay, let me, doing the best I can over here, cleaning this up. Okay, you are clean, so you can go over there. Okay. Okay, um, okay, trying to move him to where people can still see him off to the side, the ones that come in late, but that's all I'm going to do with him until, um, next, next week, 
when I do the next layer. And sometimes that's not always the last layer. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I can't tell. I can't tell what that is in there. But first, I'm going to mix up the sand for the bottom. Okay, there's the sand. <laughs> you did a workshop, huh? Sorry, I was laughing at Kelly's. You don't need it five times enlarged. Okay, now I'm going to put some resin in here. And I'm going to need another cup to divide this up. Mm. Okay. I had them all turned inside out because I was cleaning them because I could feel little dried bits of resin. Okay. Now I'm going to put some in here. Okay, so I got my two colors over here. And I got some new little... Um, I guess, I think they're called accruitments. Um, little, little decorations. If I can get it open with my gloves on. I got some little, oh, too close. Okay, I gotta take one out because you, it's all washed out. I got some little, little teeny tiny starfish. And then I got some little tiny shells. And I even got a little bit of grass I'm going to cut up. Okay, where's the shells? Because these are cute shells. I like these. These are cute. Okay, come on, open up. Nothing's easy when you got gloves on. A crude, crude, uh, okay, uh, a crudiment. I guess that's what it is. Okay, and then see, I got some little teeny tiny shells to put on there. Okay, let me pour it out over here so I can uh, pick through it with my tweezers. And then, last but not least, this is actually aquarium grass. And I thought I would cut it up a little bit and put some of it laying down in the sand. Uh, scissors, there you are. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm having a hard time figuring out where to cut it at. No, that's not on camera. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, let me... There we go. Move it forward just a little. Oh, it's a French word. Okay. Okay. First, I want to mix up this sand and resin in this cup. I think I got the right ratio this time. Okay, now let me look over here. I don't think I put all my colors away yet. Okay, uh, don't think I did. I'm not sure. Okay, ha, huh. maybe I did. So let me pull some colors out over here. Aha, uh -huh. there's a lighter green and nope that's a purple I wanted a blue where's my blue Kelsey what'd you do about mommy's blue like like the cat can tell me where my blue went so 
Where's this one? That one's black. <laughs> oh, I should have had them ready. I got a mess back here. Hmm. I can't find my blue. So let me see what I got in this box. That's purple. There we go. There's a blue. I found a blue. Okay, now where that other... Oh, there's that other green. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. What color is this? It says fluoride. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need another stick to mix this. And for some reason, these dyes like to stick to the sticks when you put your stick in to stir it. So you got to scrape. See how the dye is sticking to it? you got to scrape it off to get it mixed back in with the resin. Okay, got that one. Now, a blue. Okay, come on. Because I'm going to do some waves on this one when it sets up, but it's not going to uh, be the same. It's going to be with UV resin, but it's not going to be the same. Okay. I can see right now it's not going to be dark enough. This is th this is just same way you do an acrylic pouring is you mix you mix stuff in your resin. So that's all fluid art is is a lot of mixing, a lot of mixing. And I found out last time I tried mixing these um, pigments in, or coloring, that it may look darker in the cup than it really is. Okay. So now, wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to make sure I was still on camera. Oh! This is a little thick already. Okay. <laughs> it's sticking to the stick. <laughs> Weird. Cross-eyed Spanish cows. Okay. I love where this conversation's going. I don't know how you got onto a subject of cross-eyed cows. Oh, okay, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. I'll put just a little bit right here. Just enough to loosen the sand away from the side.
Okay, it looks like I got most of it out of there. One thing I always end up doing right after a live, and if I don't do it, I pay for it later because it takes longer, is I don't let the resin set in the cup. Okay, that's also where those um, where those rags come in handy, those t-shirt rags. Okay, trying to smooth it out. This one became a very, very thick paste, it looks like. Hmm. Joy, hello! <laughs> uh, no, you got a lot of work, honey, okay, since you took on that new class. And Kelsey says, hello, Auntie Joy. Oh, Auntie Mona and Uncle Mike got her tired out yesterday, and she's still asleep. Okay. Let me put those two guys in there. Now, let me take my tweezers. Uh, what do I do? Here, let me... First, get a starfish out. There we go. Little tiny starfish right there in the sand. And then I wanted to put some of these red ones in there. These are so pretty. Okay, let's see what other colors I got. Uh, here's a brown one. Okay, now. Okay, and a little tiny piece of greenery right here. Oops, got it buried. <laughs> I buried it in the sand. Let me put a bigger piece right here. And let me find. There's not any big shells in this bunch. Put one shell right there. And I want a light colored one. I want a light colored one right there. And you kind of tap them down too, so they kind of stick in there. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, now, I'm going to try to pour both at the same time to get it half and half. <laughs> it's not that easy to do, but you try. you get some mixing in the middle okay now I found the mold looking for another mold that I <laughs> stick is stuck to my glove okay so he's gonna set up until next week uh, and I found this mold that I'm going to start dumping my excess in. It is a big, huge pyramid. And basically, I'm just going to do little layers. With this. Okay. 
of just getting rid of my excess resin in here every week. And we'll see what it looks like when it's all full. <laughs> Great way to get rid of your resin. I used to do this with um, shot glass molds. I came out with some wild looking shot glasses. But this is, look, you don't want to waste your resin, so you try to find something to put it in. Okay, well, let me get rid of this, and then, uh, I, don't, I still don't have my dong set up, but um, um, we will be doing three giveaways. Free shipping in the United States. I don't want it to mix too much. Um. Oh, that's not really on camera that much, is it? Sorry. There we go. I have, I don't know how many years I've had this mold and this pyramid mold and I haven't used it yet. in there um, I am not going to try to pick up anything off of here what I'm going to do is uh, uh, is I'm going to move this over. Yeah, that way I've got it a place right here for it. Okay, got to clean up my mess just a little bit. Uh, where's that? Oh, there it is. Because I don't want to get any of this other colored resin on that. So, Enjoy their swim. Ah, oh, you're a meanie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. I know. Okay. Um, so, everybody, okay, um, I got three little... Ha! There they are. Okay, I got three little um, gnomes here. I'm looking to make sure I got them in the right order. I retaped them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here is gnome number one. Uh, okay, you can hardly see it, so let me do this. No, not 25. Well, okay. no, it can't be 25 because one of them is above 25. It's got to be 1 through 50. Okay, so here is giveaway number one. Okay, a little gnome. All I got to do to him is, is I got to re-drill his hole a little bit. Okay. So, when I type go in the chat, you can start putting your numbers in there. Number between 1 and 50. There, thank you, Moose. And um, I will pay the shipping in the United States. It's going to be a few days because i got to get my uh, Dremel kit down here to drill that hole and fix up the edges a little bit. But you can put a nice little keychain on them. That's, that's the nice part about them. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. We have a winner. It's the gnome lover herself. Ah. It goes to our Miss Moosey. 
at number eight. So ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, the lag's bad. Oh, the lag is really bad. <laughs> okay. Let me make sure I'm caught up too. And I'm scrolling backwards. Oops. I'm scrolling backwards just to make sure it was the second number that Moose put up. So that is giveaway number one. This one goes to Miss Moosey. Uh, where's my pen? Oh. My pen's not hard to spot anymore. It's a bright yellow. Courtesy, courtesy of the uh, Wapolo Courthouse. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so I got this tape to the back of that. Okay. Uh, and now let me double check to make sure that this is the right one. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay. And everybody but Moose. Sorry, Moose, I can't let you enter twice. Um, when you see the word go, oh, this is Mr. Messy Face. This is where I try to do the paint on him. Uh, I have some edges I got to clean up a little bit. I got to redrill the hole. That's why I got, and I got to put a little bit more paint on the back too. So Mr. Messy Face up's ne is up next. Number between 1 and 50. It's between Kelly and Cynthia. Ah, there's Mary and Melinda. Still don't see the number. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. The way that Kelly was going, I knew she was going to win. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. It's Miss Kelly Mank with number 37. So congratulations, Miss Kelly. Ah, try to find a pen. Or find find the end of it. Kelly. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ah, wait a minute. Let me. Okay, I got one more, which everybody but Kelly and Moose can enter in that one. And they both, I still owe Moose something else, too, from another giveaway. I have not, I can't set up my printer because I can't set up my computer over there in the corner that hooks up to my printer because I have no electrical outlet over there. <laughs> That's how much remodeling we're doing. Okay, here we go. Here is the last one. Uh, I might give away the other ones next week. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Mary, you can keep guessing until until I say ding 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 we have a winner and then I will tell tell you guys who the winner is, but I realize with the lag it takes a little while. Uh okay. Let me enter my word go. I'm watching for the video to catch up. There it goes. Nope, no winner yet. Keep going. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. We have a winner. This one didn't take long. We have a winner. It is Miss Melinda M Mel Firestone with number 16. Oops. Oh, I got to do something about my lighting in here. I got to do something about my lighting in here. So, 
I have um, I have all kinds of padded envelopes up there. Um, I just gotta fix them, and then I gotta get all the paint. Well, I think I Melinda, don't I still? I know I owe Moose a coaster from one weekend. Don't I still owe you a jar of paint? I think I do. Okay. And to tell you guys, these coasters are going to be given away too. Not three of them in a, in, in a life. But I'll be giving away the coasters too. And you never know. I might give away a moose or a bear. See, I do have... Oh, it's got a little spot of dust on it. I do have a bear mold. Let me see if I can... Okay, it's hard to see the details. But you can see it a little bit. So. Why, why do you need to email me? I know your address. I don't, don't worry about the shipping, honey. Don't worry about the shipping. Okay. So... I don't know when I'm going to get Mr. B here for a live. Um, but hope, hopefully I can get on next Saturday. But see, I'm just going to move the camera up, son, and I'm going to put him over here doing his UV resin um, um, Death Star on the back of a coaster. And then I will be doing my pouring over on the other side. Because I got a big enough table now that I, I could have three people sitting here. <laughs> well, not quite because I've got this, um, oh, shoot, ad. Oh, that's okay. Pays the light bill, right, everybody? Pays the light bill. There we go. Oops. Now what happened to my chat? Okay. There it is. Now I got to go back to top chat. Uh. Yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. I was trying to figure out why somebody said just doesn't seem fair, does it, Kelly? Well, you must, you, do, you must have, um, um, pr uh, premium. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to throw these away yet. I might use them on a future project. So, that's it for today. Congratulations to all my winners. Um, oh, you had to get a different PayPal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So thank you, thank you. It's gonna get it's gonna get waves, but it's not gonna get the well. See, nah, it's not gonna get the waves like this one. Okay, I had to put more resin in there to bring it all the way up to the top. This one's gonna get um, it's gonna get um um, it might be um, regular resin because if I put a thin layer of resin on there. I'm going to drop drops of clear resin in it and that makes it the white open up and then it looks like waves too. Oh, thank you everybody for coming out. Y'all are awesome. I absolutely love my group of viewers, my viewers of awesomeness. And everybody, thank you for the warm welcome to Mary, our newest viewer of awesomeness. It's so nice to have you here. I will probably see you tomorrow at uh, Fiona's. And um, and all I can say is, um, first I want to give a shout out to my um, to my grandbabies, which is Devin, Alyssa, Tony, Jameson, Marley, and Riven. Grandma loves you. And um, all I can say is, Bye for now. Love you, Bentley. Wink, wink.